Okay, so back on the reloading bench here. I haven't posted a video in a while because I have a lot of stuff happening right now with work and stuff in general. But now this is just going to be a little video for information purposes because I've been having issues and I know people that don't really know anything about shotguns and chambers are going to have issues with them too. So basically what you have here is a hundred dollar shotgun that I paid at a gun show. It's black powder era. Usually shotguns you'll know well, what the chamber size is by removing the, the forearm or the, the foregrip, whatever you want to call it, the front stock. And underneath there'll be a bunch of engravings telling you about the chokes, the barrel length, chamber size, etc. But me, I had no idea what I was doing, right? So I was just feeding it normal shells, whatever I'm... I was, well, I was using normal smokeless shells. But then I went on forums and I checked and people were like, well, that's a black powder gun. You only need to use low pressure smokeless or black powder. So now this video basically is going to be it's a useful tad bit of information. This is just a little tool that anybody can make to check your chamber depth. <clears throat> so you'll take a 12 gauge. I, I think there might be a couple videos about these, but they're, they're pretty old. So I thought I'd just make another one. Take a 12 gauge shell, you, you cut the brass off, take a 20 gauge shell, put some electrical tape onto it, just enough so that when you put it in a 12 gauge shell, there's a, there's resistance so it's not loose. So basically what you'll do is, if you say this is my chamber opening here, my chamber mouth, you'll, you'll put this in and then at the, well I guess you'd say the, the cone in the chamber, at the end of the chamber there's a rim. So this finger is the rim, you'll push it in, and then this will basically give you your chamber length. So let's say two, three quarters, or three, three and a half, whatever, whatever your shotgun might have. So this thing is good for that, but for older shotguns, like this one, the chamber isn't always as tight and as pristine as newer models. So, I'll, I'll demonstrate here real quick. This isn't a 3 inch chamber, it's not a 3.5 inch, it's a 2.5 inch chamber. So that means I'll take 2.5 shells and then they'll expand to 2 or 3 quarters. So here basically is just a standard federal 1 one ounce modern shell. I'll drop this in, everything's going to be good, but once it, it expands once the, the crimp here expands, it's not going to be good anymore because now the, the barrel cone, the chamber cone is going to be like this and then the crimp is not going to be able to expand fully causing back pressure in the action in the firearm and in the barrel. So basically you're holding a hand grenade. And if you like your fingers and your hands and your arms where they are now, it's usually not recommended. And I have just a little disclaimer, I've done this for a long time. I've put two, two three quarters in here, and the the gun's fine, but I just got lucky, I guess, because there was a whole lot of kick, and people said that's because the pressure was way too high. So, like I said, I'd, just a little demonstration here. The left barrel is full choke, and the right one is just a cylindrical bore, so basically no choke. So, okay, like I said, this is an old gun. The chambers are pretty loose. They're not very tight. So, this is a two three quarter standard, buy these anywhere. Drops in just fine, all right? Because that's the size of the chamber. Now nothing else is supposed to fit in here because this is just the standard size of the chamber. In a modern one, the shell might, like you'd stick the shell in, oh, you'd hit the chamber, well the maximum chamber length and the shell would look like this, they just pop out. With these old ones, Somebody doesn't know, well, hey, this thing has a long barrel, long barrel, you know, it could be like a, a goose gun, a duck gun, made for long range, so they take really big shells. This is the biggest shell probably on the market for 12 gauge, it's three and a half inch steel shot for, for geese. So I'll try this, fits in just fine. It just, it skips the, 
like I said before, the, the, the chamber cone in here, or the chamber groove. So, but if I were to, to fire this in here, I'd, I'd probably, I mean, lose the gun, lose my arms, probably lose my face, my fingers, everything's gonna go flying everywhere. So yeah, you just have to be careful about what you're doing. So like I said, this is just a simple tool to make your day a little bit easier. Yeah, it's just 12 gauge, 20 gauge, wrap some electrical tape around it. Stick it in here until it's hard, you extend it fully. Stick it in here. As you see, you, you'll go until you hit the cone. There you go, it's, it's flush in here. Now you pull it out. Okay, so get it out of here. And then you measure this with calipers, or if you want to be really precise, or just a standard ruler or measuring tape, and this will give you your chamber length. But yeah, just my my two cents on being careful about antique arms and just be careful with your life in general. So as you saw, three and a half inch fit, two three quarters fit. It's not supposed to, but. These old guns, even rifles sometimes, shotguns are a, a little bit picky and they're pretty fussy in what they want. So yeah, just be careful and do a lot of research before you decide to shoot anything that's old.